So hi, my name's Cody. Uh, I've been coming to Grace Point for about five years now. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer. I work with robotics at Southwest Research. Uh, my mother would say that she's a Christian, but we never went to church. Um, my dad was never into religion or he, he thought that it was all a pretty corrupt system. My influences were primarily my friends um, that we'd compare um, God and Christianity to almost um, Santa Claus and getting gifts at Christmas like if you're a good boy and you're moral then all these things will work out. However, you know, we we saw ourselves beyond that as as far too intellectually sound to uh, blindly trust something without concrete proof and evidence. My wife and I started dating. Uh, my wife was a believer and she kind of forced me into a corner and said if you don't if you don't get on board with this, I can't, I can't see my life continuing with you. So at, at that point, I decided to uh, at least give church a chance and start attending with my wife. And uh, that went on for quite a while. So uh, Rachel took a huge gamble with me, a, a huge leap in faith and went ahead and married me anyways um, with the promise that I would continue to be open spiritually to this. I let down my guard and, and surrendered to the idea that maybe I didn't have it all figured out. So walking through Grace Point um, actually happened on a, on a random 5K. <laughs> uh, they did a run for hungry children. My wife and I came to Grace Point the next Sunday and ended up in the life group pretty much the next week. Um, so it was a huge paradigm shift for me to sit in a room with Christians that were frankly smarter than I was. Um, that was kind of a, a gut punch because I'd always leaned into my own intellectual intelligence and my own uh, abilities. That, And then suddenly um, being uh, in community with three or four men that actually knew what they were talking about. They were my age. They're very intelligent guys. So um, I sat down in a conversation um, uh, and I more or less explained in that lunch uh, the resurrection of Jesus and, and how that all went down and how, how much evidence there is to, to prove that. Uh, what, what are you waiting for? How, what would you say is your percentage that you trust, trust that Jesus is a person? I'm like, 99%. He says, well, can you give me 1% of faith right now? And that was it. That was the moment that I decided to trust. I can't imagine walking through um, a baby that was four months early without some trust um, that uh, this is all going to be okay one way or the other. Sitting in a, in a hospital room next to a baby in an incubator for four months uh, really was a, an ultimate faith journey of there was nothing that I could do. Um, I just had to trust that God was going to handle it no matter what happened. So I used, to, I used to ask, why do I need God in my life? And now I say, why not? So, which some people take it the wrong way. <laughs> They're like, why not? I'm like, yeah, why not? Sure, let's do this. But no, I mean, literally. Why would I not want God in my life at this point?